everyone, welcome or welcome back to EpicArtDesigns.com. If you are not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe to our channel because we have really good tutorials on here. And make sure that you like this video. Before I get started, I did want to let you guys know about Patreon. We are on there for anyone who just want to see a real-time tutorial of us creating um, a funeral programs. I do have very detailed uh, techniques and stuff all on there. So go ahead and check it out with the link in the description. And we just came out with a funeral program graphics pack. This has doves, clouds, different types of flowers. We have the bokeh, the clam, everything that you see me using in the funeral programs that I'm creating today and on the rest of our videos. That's all in there. So go ahead and click the link in the description to grab yours today. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get straight into the video. Um, I'm going to be answering a few of you guys' questions on the latest video that I uh, posted. If you guys have not seen that, I will leave a link down below. You should really go check it out because it is a great video. Um, so someone asked, how do you get your pages side by side? And I really go in depth on this on my Patreon, but I'm going to let you guys know. I really like to design side by side. So I do my um, canvas size, the size of the whole sheet of paper when you're printing. Most people do it one by one, but um, I size my canvas to 17 by 11 inches, and this helps me get this uh, paper side by side. So I hope that makes sense. I'm really trying to explain it as best as I could. So when it comes to printing, you print um, at 11 by 17. That's the type of paper we print on. So instead of doing, um, when designing, instead of doing 8.5 by 11 inch, or designing one page at a time, I'm doing basically the front cover and the back cover. I'm designing it at the same time, looking at it at the same time. This is kind of, this helps me like make the design flow better. Okay, next question is, hello, may I ask what size of paper should we use for printing the Gates Road brochure? Um, so this really depends on the printer that you're using or the printer people that you're taking it to. Personally, we print on 11 by 17 inch paper. Um, and our canvas size is 11 by 17. So that the size of your canvas is a size that you should print on. Unless you're doing borderless and you have a uh, laser printer, then you maybe go bigger because laser printer don't print borderless. So usually, usually we'll cut the edges off if we're doing borderless. Another question we get is what kind of paper is best to print this on? Really, this is up to you. If you join our Patreon, I'm really getting into depth on the type of paper that we use. But this is really your preference. Um, so how you would like, how um, thick you would like the paper. If you want it to feel like an actual book, book in high quality, you will pay attention to the pound of the paper. And then of course, if you want that gloss, make sure that you get gloss premium paper. Um, that's basically it. Just pay attention to the type of paper that you're getting to achieve the effect that you want to give. Someone else asks, are we offering cl classes? Um, at the moment, we are not, but check out our Patreon. We have videos on there as well. The Patreon members will be the first. We'll have first access to all the classes that come that comes out, so make sure that you join. Now, let's talk about this design. If you don't know already, this is 17 by 11 inch. My, this is the size of my canvas. Again, we're going to print on 11 by 17. But for this canvas, we need the paper turned sideways, so it's going to be 17 inches by 11. Most Some people ask how you can resize the canvas. So you go to the top left corner, and it should say Magic Switch. Canva changed it around. It used to say resize, but now it says Magic Switch. You just go there, and you type in the new size that you want. Another thing is I get a lot of questions on how I do the gold text flare. And this is really hard to create as a template because, of course, it's going to be an image. But check out one of our shorts. I'll link it in the description. That kind of gives you an over overview of how to do that. You can also join our Patreon where I get in depth on how you can actually achieve that golden text effect. But yeah, that's what I'm creating here is a um, golden text effect. I used to not know how to do this, but I found it and it's just like the key. It, it makes the design pop so much. So try it. Try it out. Okay, so as you see, when I first started out, I, um, I kind of got my background together. I really would love to tell everybody to start with your background when you are doing the design, and then it kind of gives you the layout for the whole booklet. So I got my background together. Then I went ahead and started blending. If you want to see a video on how to blend, go ahead and click the link in the description because I did do an in-depth tutorial on that on YouTube for you guys. So go ahead and check that out. But... 
Um, so now I'm just adding a shadow to uh, this text. And for some reason, Canva shadows have been really lagging. So I can't really see the shadow that I'm creating into a press done. Which is kind of, it's kind of like hard, but it works. It works great. I'm used to it. And then you will see me opening my other designs just to get the text off of there. Um, because I do not feel like retyping this text over again. So that's why you see other designs opening. For that blue design, I actually have a video just for that in depth. So check that out as well. And I just want to say it one more time, guys, that everything that I'm using, the doves, uh, the clouds, the sunset, the roses, all that is included in the 100 graphic, graphic packs that's now on our website. And it's on sale for 35%, so go ahead and get you one. So another trick that I wanted you guys to know, and this works best for me because I use a lot of layers on my canvas. So I tend to um, get confused on what I'm clicking. So what you can do is just kind of in your left, over where you see in the left tab, I'm opening up all my layers. And I can pretty much just select easily what I want to move around. So what you do is you just right click any element in your design. You go to layers and then you scroll down to show all layers and literally all your later layers will pop up on the left. This was a game changer when I discovered this on Canva. I'm pretty sure they had it out way before I even discovered it. But yeah, try that out. And lastly, I just want to talk about blending really quickly. Um, if you do blending right, your whole design will, will look really nice, okay? So if your blending is on point, then like your whole design is going to come out good. So just really practice on blending. Don't worry about nothing else. Don't worry about getting the layout right or anything. Just to really focus on blending. And once you pack down blending, everything else will come easy. And that's basically it. That's the principle that I used when I first started designing in general. And it just has helped me so much. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching this video. And I will catch you at the end. That is all for today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I will be happy to answer them for you. If you want to see a real-time tutorial on different funeral programs, I don't have one on this one yet. But join our Patreon because I do have other more advanced tutorials for different advanced funeral programs. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. Don't forget, if you want all these elements, um, the clouds, the doves, um... Uh, the flowers, anything that I'm using, go ahead and purchase our graphics pack. Again, it is on sale for 35%. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.